We covered 70,000 square nautical miles uh, yesterday looking for the El Faro. So based on all of that, uh, for our search planning efforts, we are assuming that the vessel has sank. Uh, we believe it sank in, in the last known position that we recorded on Thursday. So what that means though, we just change our search planning efforts. We are still looking for survivors. In one of the survival suits, uh, we did identify human remains in one of the survival suits. Uh, we lowered a rescue swimmer to confirm uh, that the person was deceased and it was basically unidentifiable. So th there were two lifeboats that were on the, uh, the El Faro. They could each hold about 43 people. The one we found had no signs of anyone being in it. What we have to assume as search planners is if the vessel did sink on Thursday and that crew was able to abandon ship, they would have been abandoning ship into a category four hurricane. So you're talking up to 140 mile an hour winds, seas upwards of 50 feet, visibility basically at zero. Those are challenging conditions um, to survive in. 